So how do you connect your 40, 50, 30 year old systems to blockchains without having to reinvent everything, which is not an attractive process. And, and frankly, after working with more of these banks and asset managers, if I had $100 billion sitting on some system and switching that over was a risk and no user asked me and there was no user benefit and there was no efficiency benefit, I would question it too, right? So it's kind of like a question of why, why am I switching off this, okay, it's a 30-year technology, but I can kind of wrap, it around, wrap around it and it can still work. And that's what banks have done for decades. They have some old technology that gets wrapped with like XML or SOAP or something, and then APIs wrap that, and then now we wrap that, basically. Um, this is something I think we're well on the way uh, to doing through our ability to collaborate and through the Chainlink network security and the ease of use for existing systems. This is a, a principal design decision that uh, I think the people building the Chainlink network have made to say, we want to be able to integrate with existing infrastructure. We don't want to replace it, we want to integrate. And I think that's a pretty wise uh, move because existing infrastructure in certain ways does work, has hundreds of trillions of dollars on it, and very importantly, it already includes the ability to sign with private keys. We, if, if, if we can integrate with the existing infrastructure, we do not need to get a private key in the hands of the people running banks. They have private keys. We just need them, basically like the hardware wallet problem that people face in Web3, they don't have that problem because they've been using private key signing devices for years. And so what we need to do is we need to find a way to get those private key signing devices to sign the transactions that we want to flow value into the blockchain world. That's really the, the challenge we have. It's not replacing everything. It's, it's making everything that can securely interact with blockchains securely interact with blockchains. That's the, that's the real challenging problem that if you solve it efficiently, you can get to the world working on blockchains quickly.